Today we're going over this sweet small Zigbee coordinator that is so easy to set up within five minutes. Size comparison, this is a number two pencil and a quarter. Yeah, this thing is tiny. Here it is compared to the Sonoff coordinator. So you can clearly see how smaller and slimmer it is. I guess you could say the antenna is about the same size. For final comparison, we'll be comparing it to this big boy. To be fair, this thing is much bigger because it is PoE power, while this thing is just plug and play into the USB port. We won't be covering this big bad boy right now because it is awesome and it takes a lot of time for me to digest all of what its capabilities are. So stay tuned for the next future video on how this thing works and setting it up. For the host, we're actually using this uh, super small NUC NUC. I highly recommend not plugging the coordinator directly into this USB port just because, as you know, Zigbee uses Wi-Fi and that can interfere with the uh, radio signals in this NUC. It is highly recommended that you use an USB extension core. That way, the coordinator is far, far away from this nook, far, far away from any interference. Now that the coordinator is plugged in, go ahead and go to Settings, Integrations, click on Configure. Create a network. By default, it's going to set up and work with ZHA. If you want something even better, like Zigbee to MQTT, that's going to require some effort and time. So we'll stick with ZHA for now. Go ahead and choose the area that this thing is in. This is totally optional. Click on Finish. Let's click on ZHA. Click on Configure. And then click on Add Device if you're ready to add a Zigbee device. Just for fun, we're going to add the Aquara Door Sensor. Now go ahead and get your Aquara into pairing mode with this hub. That's relatively easy. On the bottom of the door sensor is a button. Go ahead and press and hold a button until it wakes up. There we go. The hub found a device and it's doing its thing. Select the area if you want and then we are done. Very nice. Now you can go back and click on devices. Click on Lumi sensor. And here we can see the battery status, the temperature, as well as whether it's open or closed. Sweet. So what do you think of this coordinator? Pretty easy, right? Home Assistant found it automatically and all you have to do is click and wait and that's it. Alright, hopefully this video helps you on how to set up this really nice USB coordinator for Zigbee. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.